Good afternoon to those who listen. It's January 5th, 2023, 1.10 p.m. And I just wanted to do a quick video just to say, you know, uh, don't kill the messenger. <laughs> um, uh, whenever I uh, put some videos out there, I'm not saying that it's 100% true, if it's going to happen or not. I'm just putting the information out there, you know, so we can, you know, I guess decipher it and, and discern for ourselves. Remember, never believe anybody. Do your research and pray for discernment on everything. Um, when it comes down to Marfugo, I do trust him, though. Uh, so that was, you know, the face thing from the sun. I don't know if this thing's going to happen today or not. And if it does happen today, there's still a chance we might not find out till tomorrow. But I'm just going by what Mike from around the world said. And he's been talking about this for a while. I could look back and see when he first said it. I, I write every week, I, I write down, you know, some of his predictions. He, a lot of his stuff has come true. A lot of it hasn't. A lot of the stuff that did come true didn't come true in the time uh, period that he said it would happen in. But he usually, ne he, actually, I've never heard him once ever say a specific date. Uh, this is the very first time. He's, you know, whenever he makes predictions, he says, oh, it could happen in three months, a year, whatever, or soon, or something like that. But this one, he was like really adamant, adamant about the exact day. And he also said that there'll be 16 more of these explosions in the heliosphere during 2023. So we'll just have to wait and see. So, you know, don't think that I'm saying that this is 100% going to happen because I have no idea. But he was so, you know, sometimes when he makes predictions, I like to throw it out there so, you know, we can see, you know. And this is the way to judge people, too. I mean, not judge, but to know their fruits. You know, if they, if they say something and then it doesn't happen, you know, it's hard to believe them the next time, right? So uh, I've been listening to him for a long time, and I've really never heard anything that, I mean, there might have been a few things that was wrong, but he's been pretty good overall. So, you know, we just got to see what happens, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, you know, obviously, you know, whenever we hear news about stuff, we need to definitely research and to pray about it because, you know, there's so much, so much prop uh, and lies and misinformation and, you know, the, you know, they're saying that, you know, all these con conspiracy theories are all, you know, uh, are misinformation, but, you know, a lot of it has come true. And if you've looked back over the last three years about all the supposed misinformation and lies that were out there, they wound up being true. So, you know, take it with a grain of salt. Just uh, the, the reason I said it was, you know, so everybody would just be alert. You know, that's why you know, I'll say a lot of times, you know, I'll say it's possible predictions or this is what somebody said, you know. So just be alert, be aware, you know, in case something <clears throat> like these, like the power outages, the blackouts, you know, I know it's going to happen. And it has happened in a lot of different areas around the world, but, you know, it's going to happen. It's just a question of when. So I don't know. So anyway, just always do your research and always, uh, Always pray for discernment on everything. Don't believe what somebody says. Research it yourself because, you know, you, you know, I I try to be very careful with with things I say. That's why I always, you know, if I put something on on my channel, uh, a lot of times in the title I'll put question marks because you know, is it going to happen? Is it not going to happen? I'm not. That's why I don't want to ever say, oh, this is going to happen, because you know, that's that's how you get. Uh, disqualified from being, you know, uh, being able to have a, a story that, you know, you're trying to say is true. We had that controversy with Israeli News Live with Steve Benoon, and, you know, he was wrong on something. He apologized for it, and 
and had his explanation for it and everything. But after that, you know, a lot of people didn't trust him anymore. I still watch him here and there. I'm not, I'm not saying I trust him, but, you know, it's it still doesn't hurt to listen to what people say and then, you know, research it yourself. So that's what I'm trying to say. So please, everybody, just uh, research everything yourself and pray on it for discernment. That's the, the main thing. Don't want to keep going on, jabbering. But uh, the, that face thing was, that really did happen. <laughs> or at least something happened where it formed into that. And I've seen so many faces on the sun, uh, you know, from these images. But, you know, a lot of people that say those images are fake. And they could be. There's a lot of stuff out there, you know, that they're saying. And, you know, we don't know for sure about, you know, a lot, a lot of stuff. So discernment. Pray for discernment and research yourself. Don't just ever believe any one thing because somebody said something. Always look into it. All right. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. God bless.